Hello everyone, I'm going to explain how to use RT Cavpods. So once you have purchased our product, you will be able to go into here, but let's just say you haven't got the DM. So what you want to do is you want to go to commands and you want to type receive. I cannot spell. Because I cannot spell, because I'm having an absolute moment today. We're gonna, oh, it's retrieve, not receive. So we're going to do retrieve and then we're going to type calf. Calf, calf pause, doesn't matter. And then it will say this and then we can jump to our message, which we can then download the file. So we'll wait for the download to finish and then go into our downloads. So what we'll do, we'll open up Studio. And as you can see, I've already set up a little part here. We'll get rid of these because those are from the old thing and that. So once you've done that, go into your downloads or wherever it's located and then drag it in. As you can see, it has a little position, but we're going to select all of this and move it across. Just going to move it down so it's flush with the table. It doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, there we go. So before we even go into the configuration or anything, go make sure you have published your game. Go into game settings, go to your security, and make sure HTTP requests are on for both normal and for studio. So once we've done that, you can we can open up RTCavPos's folder, and you'll see there's quite a few items. So there's items, screens, template items, engines, settings, and items. So items is this. This is free to keep. This just explains how to. We're like when you click a item, it will give you it. This won't work in your circumstance unless you have test items in your server storage with items in there, which is tools. So what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of this and it will keep these two items. These are going to be the items that are important to us. So you can see we've got a bank card, well, a debit card and a staff card. We're going to drag them into starter pack from items. This folder is free to delete. And then in screens, do not change anything in screens unless you are changing the UI. If you're going to change the UI, open up screen, go to screen again and then go to UI. You can also change the audios here as they might not work in your circumstance, as just Roblox being Roblox when they changed how audio worked. But from that, now we're gonna head into the configuration. So as you can see, we've got product testing hub. That's from the product hub. We can change that to test game, for example, but change it to whatever your store name will be. As you know, I'm British. I'm going to change that from dollars to pounds. We're gonna keep staff card as the same, but you can change that to your light as it does say in here. This is the important part, so make sure your group is set up correctly. This is my group, which is already set up there, but make sure to change it. So as you can see, that's my group ID. That's the. This will be the minimum rank that can use the tills, and this will be the minimum rank that can manage the tills, such as shutting the tills down, restarting them, for example. Not shutting them down, sorry, restarting and locking the tills. So once we've done that, we're going to hit Publish to Roblox. And then we're going to go into our create page as we're going to test it in a real environment. So we're going to go to CAF, we're going to go to view on Roblox. View on Roblox, just wait for Roblox to catch up. And then we're going to hit start. So we've already got the staff card in place and these will be the two items that we can scan. So we can test that just to make sure it all still works. The reason why we'll do it in a real environment is just so then you can experience like how it will fully work. So as you can see, the tills are already starting up. So they're quick and efficient just before you even get to see. As you can see, it's already set the name up. It's ordered the tills by till three, two, one. As you can see, we're going to log in. So to log in, it's just to scan your staff card. So you scan it on this part here. So you can see you tap it and it logs in. As so I forgot to publish the changes from a previous test, which is hence why we're reloading. As you can see, we're back in. The tools are already springing to life. It's got test game on it. We're gonna scan that here. So we're logged in. As you can see, we've got void, finish, HR settings, which I can access as I'm over above the minimal rank in my group. And then we've got log out. So the game doesn't allow you to steal all the tools. As you can see, it won't let us log in until we log out on the current one. As you can see, you also can't scan anything, but these two have been set up to scan. So we can pick these up, and then we're going to scan them just like how we were doing it before. As you can see, it's added the total of both of them. So we can void it, which will remove it, but we're just going to remove the basketball. As you can see, it's now set the amount again, and it has automatically changed it to pounds. So we're going to finish the transaction, which now tells the, the server that we are waiting for their, the customer's card. 
So if we go round here, as you can see, it also shows the amount for them too. We're going to insert our card. As you can see, it's now processing our payment. And round here, it does say process it. So the payment has now completed, and we have now received our football. So now we're going to get to the point where we set these up. So you might ask, how do I set up a new item? Because as you saw, any item is not scannable. So the only way to do that is to go back into your studio. And as you can see, if we have a check look at these, for example, you can see they've got a thing called RT item data, which is a remote function. They have two attributes, which is item name and price. So this item name here is what will display on the screen when we scan it. And this will be the price. So you can change this price to anything you want. So we're going to go a bit overkill. We're going to change it to 5,000 for the football now. But let's just say you want anything. So we're going to open up Toolbox, which is on my other monitor. And we're just going to search for, like, let's just say, a weapon. We're going to get the original Roblox sword in here. So we're not going to put it in the starter pack just yet. As you can see, we've now got it in game, which is for some reason locked. So we're going to unlock it. So we're going to use this sword. So this is how simple it is. So we go into the football, where it says RT item data. We're going to clone that. And we're going to drag it into here. Do not put it into the handle. It has to be a parent of the actual tool model. So as you can see in here, we're now just going to name it Classic Sword. And we're going to name it, and we're sorry, we're going to price it at two hundred and fifty pounds. So that's that's that simple, already done. So now, if we hit play once again, which we're going to publish, sorry, and then we're going to hit play on a real test. So if we just give it just a moment, as we all just get flash banged, we're going to wait for Roblox to find me a server because it always takes forever. And now, as you can see, it's loading, springing back to life straight away. So we're going to log in with this. Let's just say our customer has asked for a classic sword. We're going to go pick up the classic sword. And then we're going to walk to this and scan it. As you can see, it has already it's instantly identified it, has named it and priced it correctly. And then we can finish the transaction, hop around to the other side. We're going to pay. You can either hold the card or not hold the card. The game will detect that. It's going to process and approve it. And then we have received our sword. And now we can go around killing everyone. So that's that, and now we're going to go over some of the HR settings. So with these HR settings, this is mainly for people, let's just say, high rank. Let's just say there's been an issue in the department and they don't want anyone serving on the tills. So they can, HR can walk up to these tills, go to HR settings and lock the tills. These tills are now locked, but in my circumstance, as I'm a HR ranked, I will, I'll be able to unlock these. For anyone else, if they come up to this, this will not be able to be scanned. They can't scan their staff card to get in. But for us, to unlock it, we just walk back up to this, which will log us back in. And then we just hit log out, and it's unlocked. Let's just say this till for some reason, let's just say this is an item that's supposed to be scanned. We're trying to scan it, it's not scanning. We're going to go to HR settings and restart the till, which will then restart it and refresh any issues. It will take a, roughly a couple of seconds. It'll take the same length as normally starting up. And then you just need to log back in as usual. And now let's just say it's scanned. Okay. So from that, that is everything. Adios, everyone.